Even as adults, we stay interested in things when we're offered newness, new music, new fashion, news feed. Those are the things that keep our attention. Research shows that the kids who have new things to read every few months are the ones who are more likely to stay interested in reading. Let's find your kids some exciting new books. Don't tickle the hippo, you might make it. Snort! This repetitive, silly story has touchy-feely textures and sounds. And a dance party at the end. <laughs> Nibbles the book monster is at it again. I love books. Uh oh. If your kids love the original Nibbles, they are gonna get a hoot out of seeing this book. Just like in the other books, they'll be able to follow the footprints and find Nibbles. Silly jokes on the side at a Disney Pixar level that might go above the kids' heads, but the parents will get a kick out of them. And there are a lot of fun facts. He nibbles his way into a book about colors, then a counting book, and almost gets eaten by a dragon before he blasts off right out of this book. If your kids love nibbles and you don't have nibbles himself, hello! You have to get him. He's gonna be your kid's favorite little guy. If you want some newness in your bedtime routine, I highly recommend the Twinkly Twinkly bedtime book. It's bedtime, little bear, says dad. What a busy day you've had. But night looks great. I'm a night owl, so I get it. I get it, little bear. I love nighttime. A star is twinkling over there. Then little bear and dad go on to count twinkling stars together until they find one, 10 two, twinkling stars two, to count. Two, but little bear is already fast asleep. Unicorns in uniforms and other tales. This book is a huge value. All of our phonics readers come individually for $6.99 each, but what you need to do is get the combined volume because it comes with six of those phonics readers for $14.99 and a QR code to scan so if kids want to listen along to the stories they can. With dots, spots, and splashes high up and low down. I love these listen and read storybooks. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Kids can open a story, press the button on that page, and they can listen to Helen Mirren. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know who it is. Read the whole story. The other great thing about these is that the gingerbread man does not get eaten at the end. So if that is disturbing to you, don't worry about it. He gets away. The fox actually helps him. And in Goldilocks, at the end of this book, they take a page out of Daniel Tiger's book. How can I help? Fox cooks and cleans and mends. She puts things right. And now they're friends. My first guitar book. I love this one. Major and minor chords. This chord sounds happy. This chord sounds quite sad. Now my husband's a drummer. He appreciates all the things about tempo and keeping a steady beat in this book and counting in your head. And this book introduces them to that concept. Look inside what happens when you eat. This book has 80 flaps. What happens if I have too much sugar? A sugary coating will be left on your teeth, which makes them rot. It could also lead to a disease called diabetes. It also talks about what a food allergy is and illustrates the seriousness around what can happen to someone if they eat a food that they're allergic to. Now I'm going to perform a magic trick. Look at this compass. When I flip it around, it points to a different direction on the other side. Now I'm going to perform a magic trick. I'm gonna snap my fingers and it's going to point in the same direction on either side. What? The greatest magician in the world! Which is where I learned the magic trick in this book. I learned it from this book. And you can too. Not only is this book packed full of really cool magic tricks that you can learn, but it's also a great story about a boy who had a dream. This is a great book to take to family gatherings and show off some of the cool magic tricks that they've learned. One of my favorite series for babies, the baby's very first playbooks. This one is sparkly. 
We stick these into bags and take them to restaurants or just keep them in the car in a little basket and they're great. Planet, rocket ship, monsters, stars, whoosh, and they can trace the little bumpy finger trails. This is also a great introduction to picture books with no words where you can make up a story. This is Ludwig the Time Dog. You have to see this. Let's see. Let's see if this will work for you. It's like it's reaching out and grabbing you, isn't it? You're just gonna have to get it. So if you don't know about Ludwig, he goes to outer space, he goes under the sea, and now he goes back in time and visits the dinosaurs. He had a parcel for Ludwig and it was a very strange shape. What could it be? C.S. Lewis said that as a child, his house was full of books and finding a new book to read was like walking into a field and finding a new blade of grass. That is how I hope my kiddos feel about our home, that finding a new book to read is beyond easy because I know that that is really the best way to keep them interested in reading. Okay, let's play a game. I want you to come up with your own. Don't tickle the, you might make, so like mine is, don't tickle the cat. You might make him bite. 